Hi, this is Freelance Hacker and welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you how to reset your password on Windows or Linux environments. A few days ago one of my friends calls me and uh, he told me that uh, he's at his customer and there is an old Windows server and there was a power outage so the server restarted and no one knows the password for it. Okay, what can we do? In Linux and in Windows environment you can reset your password if you can boot the computer with a USB pen drive or, or from a CD-ROM. Okay, let's have a look at the process. First of all, let's change a Linux password. Okay, so as you can see there is a Linux machine in a virtual machine and uh, I would like to log in as root but I don't know the correct password for it. So in this case what can we do? We have to boot this machine with Kali Linux. So I prepared a virtual CD-ROM for it. As you can see there is a CD-ROM ISO image. So we would like to boot with this image. Of course you can boot a real computer from USB pen drive as well, but for this virtual machine I choose the ISO image to use as a CD-ROM or DVD-ROM. So let's reset this guest computer and enter to the BIOS menu to change the boot order. So I have to increase the priority of the CD-ROM drive in order to boot from this device. Okay, we can save it and let's boot from the Kali Linux. I am choosing the live forensic mode, but to be honest, you can choose any of the live modes, so all the same for this purpose. After the Linux starts, let's start up a terminal window. And first of all, we have to check which hard disk or which SSD contains our partition, our system to log in. So we enter the dmask command and search lines in the output which contains SD. It could be SDA or SDB. Uh, the S in the front means it's a SATA or SCSI disk. Okay, we can see that uh, there is only one disk SDA with uh, three partitions SDA 1, 2 and 5. So let's try to mount those partitions one by one and check which partition contains our system. So with the mount command I am trying to mount the SDA 1 first and let's say mount it into slash mnt. Okay, it looks success. So let's list this folder. And as you can see, there is a Linux uh, file system. If you check the home directory on the system, you can see three users, Charles, Jim and Sam. So we know that this is the target system. If we start up a midnight commander, we can see under slash mnt the whole Linux file system of our original system. And under the etc folder, you can find the shadow file. This shadow file contains the password hash for every user. So we might generate a new password hash for root and uh, and set it, but there is an easier way. In Linux distros there is a command chroot, which is change root. You can change your root directory to a subdirectory and uh, the system will be run from this subdirectory. So let's try and let's chroot to slash mnt folder. You might notice that the 
color of the prompt has been changed and if you want to list the slash mnt slash home folder then there is an error because uh, there is no more folder like this so this is only slash home there are Charles, Jim and Sam so we know we are using our original system from now on and we are with root privileges because we are booted the system with Kera Linux. So in this case we can change our password. In this case we can change for example the root password. So I am enter a new password for root. Please notice that this new password is for our original system not for the Kelly. After setting the new password I can exit from this terminal and reboot the whole system. Of course we have to go again to the BIOS menu to change the boot order in order to boot the hard drive again. So let's lower the priority of the CD-ROM drive and save the configuration and let's see what happens. Okay the original Debian Linux is booting and when it uh, asks for the username and password then I can enter root and the password which I have just set in the last few minutes. Oh yeah, that's so easy. But what if you have a Windows system? It's almost the same. So let's, let's check it. How to reset your Windows password with Kali Linux. Of course, in some cases you have to reset some Windows password. As you can see, there is my account and I forgot my password. So the process is almost the same. We have to connect a pen drive or, or CD or DVD ROM to the machine and boot from it. Of course, we are using Kali Linux again. So let's reboot the machine, enter to the BIOS settings, change the boot order and then boot the computer from Kali. We are choosing forensic mode again and after the system has booted we do the same. So open up a terminal, let's see the output of Dmask searching for SD and of course there are only one hard disk with one partition so if we want to mount this partition slash dev slash sda1 to slash mnt we can list the contents of this windows hard disk in windows there are the windows slash system or windows slash system 32 folder which contains some files for the system and there is a subfolder named config so let's have a look at it slash config and there are two important files sam and system sam is a security account management if i know correctly it so sam and system files uh, are responsible for storing some user information and passwords. So let's cd to this folder and there is another command in Kali to change some NT style passwords, so Windows passwords. If I enter chnt pw minus l and the file name which is sam then it will list all the users which are present in this Windows system. Okay, so there is my account, this is the second one, and uh, you can update this user by uh, naming the user, so, so enter the username, but there is a special character in my name, or you can use the RID, the user ID, with a 0x in front of it. Okay, and we have to specify the file. Of course, this is the SAM file. 
When you press enter, you can see a small table which contains some main information of the user. So for example, if the user is disabled or this is a normal account or, or the password will not expire and so on. And there is a menu. So for example, you can promote the user and make it an administrator, but we don't want this at the moment. So I just want to clear or blank the user password from for my user. After pressing uh, one, you can see a new error message. That means there is no password set for this user. If you scroll up, you can see there wasn't any error messages before. So this is just after the password has been cleared and the user edit screen came up again. So we can quit and of course we have to save this file. From now on, we can unmount this uh, Windows partition and reboot the computer with the Windows system. So of course we have to enter the BIOS menu again after restart and change the boot order to boot from the hard drive again. Let's save it and see what happened. The Windows is starting and surprise surprise this Windows is not asking for password because the main user is my user and my password is blank so it can enter me. As you can see I have logged in so from now on I can change my password if I want. So easy. So that's all. If you close down your computer and you can't remember your password, just write the Kali to a pen drive or DVD, boot this computer from it and you can reset your passwords. Of course, if an attacker wants to reset your password and he has physical access to your computer, he can do it as well. Thus, in office environment, the USB and CD or DVD boot is usually prohibited by the administrators. So you, for example, you cannot change the boot order of the computer. And this is for a reason. So thank you for listening to this episode. I hope it was uh, useful for you and uh, see you next week. Bye.